Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to multiply fractions. It's simple, just watch. The numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator, as marked in the red arrows. Numerators times each other and denominators times each other. So top times top and bottom times bottom. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and do some examples. One quarter times two thirds. Well, numerators times each other. I like to show arrows as my working out. One times two is two. Four times three is twelve. We've just done that. Now we ask, can we simplify? Two over twelve. Yes, they can simplify. Highest common factor is two. Our final answer is 1 over 6. It is that simple. 6 over 7 times 1 over 5. Top times top, bottom times bottom. 6 times 1 is 6. And 7 times 5 is 35. So our answer is 6 over 35. Can we simplify any further? We can't. This is our final answer. 7 over 9 times 2 over 4. Well, let's do it. 7 times 2 is 14. 9 times 4 is 36. Can we simplify? Of course we can. 14 over 36, the highest common factor, is 2. So we're going to divide by 2 and divide by 2. So 14 divided by 2, our answer is 7. And 36 divided by 2 is 18. Our final answer is 7 over 18. Last example, 5 over 6 times 3 quarters, 3 over 4. Again, with multiplication, top times top and bottom times bottom. It's that simple. 5 times 3, 15. 6 times 4 is 24. Can we simplify? Yes, we can. The highest common factor we can see is 3. Divided by 3 and divided by 3. So our answer, 15 divided by 3 is 5. And 24 divided by 3 is 8. So our answer is 5 over 8. Now a question that you may ask, why are we learning how to multiply fractions or even add or subtract fractions or even divide fractions? Very important note, you're going to use these with algebra. So you can't work with algebra in your calculator. You can put these in your calculator and get an answer, but with algebra you need to know the manual way that way you can solve algebraic fractions. We're going to learn them later. So it's very important that you master these concepts for future uh, years. Very important that you understand the manual way. You are going to use them in a lot of your maths topics later on.